Hi, I'm James, and today this is something of a personal project I've been working on. Uh, I received a water damaged uh, MacBook Air, and I've been working to get this going again, but one thing that I didn't have for it was an original Apple SSD. Um, so rather than fork out for one of those second hand off of eBay, what I have here is something else I bought off of eBay, which was significantly cheaper, um, which is a M2 converter for this generation of MacBook Air. Now this is the 2012 MacBook Air um, and these had a different SSD to previous models which was still SATA based but had a different connector and later models so this won't work for 2011, 2013 or any other model of MacBook Air it's only for the 2012s um, and the adapter cost me the princely sum of £3 and 3p, so it is really quite low priced. Um, and this, so we just take where we had the SSD and screw this down. We then here have a little screw, and we could have, if we had a smaller, uh, so a 2230, 2242, 2260 uh, M2 card, so it can take all of these. Um, but because we have a 2280 we're leaving that in that position and the important thing with this adapter you have to have a SSD which does not have components on the back uh, I have seen some more expensive ones out there which do um, have like a cutout here so that those components can sit inside the PCB but this one I tried it with one which is double sided and basically it didn't have the clearance so it wouldn't push down flat Fortunately this particular drive 128 gigs and just has the flash chips on the one side. Um, if you want to go larger then um, I believe the SanDisk X400 range are single sided including for the 512 gig model. So they would be my go to and they should work just fine for this. Anyway with that screwed in uh, into position there we're going to just put the back panel back on and flip things over and go through getting an OSX install onto a machine with no operating system. So with the machine flipped over now we need to hold down Control R or sorry Command R and press the power button to start it up. And now we are going to let the machine boot into the internet recovery mode. Now this is going to take a little bit of time so I'm just going to jump cut here through to the next stage of the process. So having logged into the wireless this will now then do the download of the setup and that is almost ready so this because there is nothing on the SSD currently or actually there is there's a Windows install on here which isn't a great deal of use to the Mac when you're trying to get OS X onto it so this is just pulling down files into memory uh, for the recovery environment that you'd normally have on the recovery partition this will now boot up and our first step will be to visit disk utility and um, we'd want to do this even with a blank SSD because before we start we are going to need so having gone in on this we've got the drive here we're going to select this and say arrays Mac OS extended journaled and we're just going to call this Macintosh HD and arrays that will then remove all the existing partitions on the drive which we don't want to keep we can then leave and this is going to do reinstall Mac OS X uh, unfortunately this machine only had Lion on it so once this is completed I'm going to go through and do the uh, update to Sierra but this will get us started and get the machine up and running to do that and selecting the drive to install it on and now this is going to download the operating system through the wireless and get things up and running on the new machine uh, with the new SSD. Um, so I hope you found this useful um, be sure to let me know in the comments if this has worked for you and I will include uh, links to the adapter that I bought although the eBay link may not stay live forever uh, and also an appropriate SSD in the comments below.
Thanks for watching.